Let's take a closer look at Omero. How does the system work? We have introduced Omero as a central server that is connected to over the internet via clients. In this video, we explained some more features of Omero that are typically handled by the IT staff or by the Omero administrator. So this is just for information, because for most Omero users, this is happening in the back end and no detailed knowledge is required to use Omero. What is there more than the central server and the clients? The central server is connected to different components that together make the system work. So the clients can connect via Omero to the different components. The four most important components will now be highlighted. First, there is Omero server. Then there is Omero web as the Omero web client, which we have introduced already. There is a Postgres database, which is a relational database in the backend. And there is the actual file storage. Starting with Omero server. Omero server is the core component of Omero. It is a sort of a middleware software that amalgamates all the tasks that the system has to fulfill. In order to do so, it communicates with the other components of Omero via their IP addresses and the ports. Omero Web is the front-end application that is faced to the users. It allows the users to access and interact with their data in Omero using the web browser. For this, it generates the HTML code behind the browser front-end and that is based on its interaction with Omero server, again via its IP address and port. The next component is the relational database that holds all the necessary information about the users. PostgreSQL is a specific type of a relational database management software. This keeps track and allows the linking between all the different locations of files, the users, the organization and projects, the annotations, attachments, in short, all the metadata. The actual file storage is a storage that is attached to the Omero server. This is where the uploaded original imaging files are physically stored and from there they can be accessed. This file storage is typically located in the central IT department, so it is a backed up storage for secure data deposition. This allows that once storage runs out, you can scale the storage up by attaching more storage. Depending on your institute, the storage might be free for researchers or come with a cost component. Users then access this storage via the client software, but cannot directly access the file explorer, so data cannot be accidentally corrupted. Note that the original raw data is never changed in this location. All the changes done in Omero are simply done by the PostgreSQL database and stored in relation to the original files. To understand how these components work together, let's have a small analogy. You can think of the platform as a custom supermarket, where special staff arranges custom shelves of different items in the warehouse for each customer. In this case, the Omero server would be the supermarket staff running around and organizing everything. The PostgreSQL database holds the catalog, which has all the information about which items belong to who, so that the shelves can be made up. Then, the shelves for display would be, so to say, Omero Web, where Omero server puts all the information. The actual warehouse where all the items are hold could in this analogy be the file storage location. Now we show two simplified examples to understand how Omero works. Here we have a look at the login to Omero. A user browses to the Omero web address, thus using Omero web. This sends the request login page so that the user can enter the credentials. The credentials must then be verified, for which Omero server requests the user password from the relational database. The database sends back the password so it can be verified by the amalgamating middleware software Omero web. Thus, the user identity can be confirmed and all the residual steps for sending the home page after the request and the information displayed to the user can now be accessed. In a second example, let's have a look at how the platform enables you to display an image in Omero iViewer. In this case, a user wants to open an image with a specific ID with Omero iViewer. Thus, it requests the iViewer page and Omero Web then sends the loading page for the iViewer while also requesting the specific plane of the image that is requested. Omero Server has to get the information on the specific file path from the relational database. 
which sends the path to the image. Now Omero server can read the image plane from the actual file storage location. It sends the plane to Omero web, which can thus be shown to the user in the iViewer page.